Welcome back to the 2014 BYU Football Media Day live web chats. My name is Lauren Frankham. If you want to join the conversation, use Twitter using hashtag BYU Media Day. I'm here with Jordan Johnson and Rob Daniel. Guys, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good. great. This is, <laughs> good. This is your last interview of the day. How's Media Day gone so far? Oh, it's been fun. It's been fun. Good. Not is, that long. Is it know? fun or? Or do you kind of dread it a little bit? I mean, we come here, we get to eat, you know what I'm saying? They got the little game set up for us in that little room. That is nice. I've, I've always been so curious. What is in that room? What do you guys do when you're waiting? I would just eat and play. Um, we just play the game. I just Talk beat them at FIFA, that's all. <laughs> you down 2-0 <laughs> so right, right now. the game before I beat you. So okay, like, whatever. Whatever. I don't count. Did you guys watch that game yesterday? Yeah, I did. USA Portugal? Yeah, we choked. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah. That was rough. Unbelievable. So let's talk about the Cougar Challenge. I'm going to read your tweet. You said, by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, by far, can't feel my legs. What what happened during the Cougar Challenge? I don't know. I felt like I was uh, hiking for my life up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. My legs gave out like three times. I, I will never do it again. Did you do it? Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. I, uh, so they told us that we was going to have a chair left down. Really? All right, so that's why I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do this. You know, when I get to the top, I'm gonna, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna be able to get, you know, chair lifted down. <laughs> I see him going up with the last leg, and he like, hey, bro, ain't no chair lift. <laughs> I had the saddest face, of, oh, the saddest face ever. <laughs> I was so mad. But you kept going. I did it, I did it, but uh, like he said, it was the hardest thing I ever done. Like, uh, I ended up falling, cramped up, had the biggest trolley right here. Oh. But uh, I got a, I got a stick, you know what I'm saying? You did. Made it. Cougar pride. You made it. Cougar pride. Did you cramp when you were running or when you were biking? I was or? walking. I was walking. walking. I was walking. Slip. Bam. Cramp. Did, did Bronco Mendenhall actually do it? He said he did it. Yeah. yeah I think he oh, won. he did it fast too. Really? Yeah. How's that make you guys feel to see your head coach just running through the? That's thing? what he do though. Yeah, he does that though on the daily. What he do? He swim. He bike. I seen that guy jogging to work. <laughs> like he, he does this. That's just the kind of guy he is. Yeah. He live in Highland too. So. <laughs> so <that's, laughs> I don't even want to know how many miles that is. That's incredible. Jordan, let's start with you. What's what's your story? Why did you come to BYU? Um, I know I, my story is interesting because I knew Danny Ainge growing up. So he uh, he's the one that put like BYU in my head uh, as a kid or whatever. So he had you know somewhat you know some involvement in me coming here, but uh, more so my mom. She really liked it here uh, when we came out here for a visit. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. I've been here a while now. This is, this is my senior year. So. That is, that's quite the connection. Danny Ainge, he's like a. He's a legend. The, the, yeah, he's a legend here <laughs> at BYU. Did you realize that when you were growing up and you knew him? Did you know he was a big deal in college? Oh, yeah, I knew that. You yeah, did? Yeah, I knew that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So, Rob, what about you? So, you grew up in New York. Yeah, I came to BYU because of the opportunity to play right away. And um, my, I know my family liked it. Like my stepmom, and my mom liked it a lot. And once I came on my visit, I met uh, I still Jordan. Deal. And Did he you? Deal, yeah. He's Thank you. Back to the reason why I came here. <laughs> Who your nation thanks you. Good yeah. to have that here. Yeah, that's about it. That's the main reasons why I came here. What have What has been your guys' You come from very different places than Provo. What's been your favorite thing about Provo, though? Now, just the people that you meet, you know, <clears throat> I, uh, that's what I can take away from BYU. Uh, the friendships and, uh, you know, the teammates and everything like, you know, I, like Rob, you know what I'm saying, somebody who I'll, I'll be in contact with, be a friend of mine for the rest of my life. That's, that's what, you know, I, I really truly can take away from BYU, just the, the relationships that you, uh, that you, you know, you, you gain from coming here and whatnot. So. Oh, but you know, us being from the East Coast, it's, it's, it's for sure a culture shock yeah. Yeah. within itself. Because you know, we we from you know, like the inner city. Like yeah. this is what do you call this? This is anything but the, <laughs> the inner city. What was the biggest shock for you coming into Provo? Ah, uh, huh. I don't know. Uh, mm. hey. Do you have one, Rob? <laughs> the biggest shock. The biggest shock. <clears throat> Be hey, be careful, because I'm, I'm from Utah, so okay, okay. No, I'm just I kidding. Mean, you can say whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> one moment it's uh, snowing, and it's the worst weather you've ever seen, and then you get on your nice little jacket, some jeans, and you come outside, and the sun's out, <laughs> and it's back to 80 degrees. <laughs> I'd say the weather, for sure, it's bipolar. Yeah. 
crazy weather here. Yeah. What are you guys' so you're from Boston, right? Boston, New York. What are you guys' favorite sports teams? I'll start with you, Jordan. Oh, Celtics. The Celtics? Celtics. Yeah, all the way. Who else? Do you like do you like Pat, baseball? Pat, no, I don't really follow baseball, but I'm a I'm a Sox fan by default. Okay, yeah, you have to. So 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 Pat's and Celtics. Who who, who your squad? Okay, so my, my basketball team is LeBron. <laughs> all five positions. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Wait, LeBron at all five yeah, positions? Yeah, all five okay. positions. My football team is the Cowboys. Uh, it's a struggle right now for us. Uh, we need to get rid of Jerry. Uh, Bro, my soccer... Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he might watch this later. He might. He might. Uh, my soccer team, um, I'd have to go with... Uh, who, who am I going to go with? Manchester United. I don't watch baseball. My tennis, you know, Serena Williams. We're getting really yeah, deep into this. All you right, want to Serena. Yeah. Serena Williams. Cricket. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have if to you can to... name one cricket player, I will be really impressed. Woo, okay, next question. <laughs> Woo, anyway, okay. So, Jordan, you're coming off an injury. Yeah. What's your confidence level like coming into this season? Confidence level is, is, is the same as I was before injury. Um, I'm totally, totally confident in what I can do. And... Uh, it's just uh, you know, I had to get over that mental hump and whatnot, and now I can honestly say that I'm over that. Because uh, like physically, you know, it's crazy. Because uh, I'm I'm stronger now, you know, uh, not even upper body but lower body than I was before. You know, what I'm saying injury, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's cool coming back and not having to play catch up. You know, I'm. Yeah. You know, I'm right. I haven't lost a step. You know, what I'm saying from from what trainers are telling me, from coaches and players, like it's cool. You know, what I'm saying coming in and and you know making plays like I did beforehand. You know, so conference level is right here. Yeah. It's so. gonna be good to have you back. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of good games on the schedule this year, Rob. What's your favorite game on this this year's schedule, and why? Um, my favorite game's all of them because we're gonna win them all. <laughs> why? Because we just are. I don't have a favorite game. Just all of them. Yeah, all Start of them. to finish. Yep. What about you? Hey, I'm right there with them, but, you know, <laughs> I can't wait for that first game just because I haven't played in a year. So that'll be, like, my first like my first game back in a year, you know, on top of that, you know, coming out of high school, like, UConn, that's where I wanted to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that, was my, that was my school. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for at one point in time, I, I, I considered myself a Husky, you know. Like, hmm. I was finna go to UConn. Really? And, um, you know, <laughs> In the same regard, like that's a half an hour outside of where I grew up. Yeah. So I'm gonna have my mother and my father, friends and family, you know, people family. who haven't, you know, got a chance to see me play during my career, you know. Yeah. So it's a lot of things going into that first game. Yeah. So that's why I say like my first game is gonna uh, gonna be pretty special. But uh, yeah, nobody's gonna beat us though. I'll tell you that. Nobody. <laughs> uh -uh. Got got a lot to prove this year in the secondary. What are your guys' exp expectations this year? For that squad. No fly zone. Nobody's <laughs> nobody <laughs> nobody's when the ball's like, in the air it's most likely going the other way. I like it. Yeah. That's what it is. Wait, like, do you guys have a secret handshake? We no, don't got that, you no. know what I'm saying? We all we all just play. Yeah, we just play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might get, you know what I'm saying, one of them. That's, that's, that's it. You might get one of these, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's it. But yeah, that's so official, the little... Because, you know what I'm saying, you got to treat this business like this is what we do, and we're, and we're so, like, into, you know what I'm saying, this season, and we're really trying to make things happen just for the simple fact that we both seniors. This yeah. is our last year, and um, we really want to make this, like, memorable, not just for us, but, you know, all the seniors. Yeah. You know, all, all the guys that's, you know, on their way out. And, um... I don't know. It's uh, it's exciting. It's like 50 some odd days away. So, both seniors, as you mentioned, what is the one thing you want to be able to say when you leave BYU? We were undefeated. Yeah, I like that. I like that. If you're undefeated. Yeah. I li hey, we like that. Cougar Nation really <laughs> likes that. So, <laughs> if you can make that happen, that'd be great. We will. So someone uh, said Nick Hal is actually really funny. He seems like a serious guy. <laughs> funny. Funny. Who said that? Seems like it's really funny. I got you, boo-boo. <laughs> what have you guys, uh, what has he done that have, has made you laugh or anything? I, I just want to know. His, his short temper. Funny. He, when he's out there on the field, it's just, it is just comedy. <laughs> he loses his mind that quick. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen anything? I mean, I've been with, you know, Coach Child since I got here, since I set foot on campus, and 
he wasn't always like you know he's, he's really he kind of lightened up like before he was you know played no games but now he you know what I'm saying he lightened up and he's, he's he's more of like a player coach right now yeah you know and uh that's you know, these past two years you know he's, he's really been in my corner he's really helped me out and you know helped me be the player that i am you know saying today and uh i don't know he uh he's cool he uh <laughs> He's grown a lot, as 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 have we all. Yeah. You know? yeah. But. Well, it's great to have you guys on here. We're super excited to have you back, and we're excited for this season. 